Hi you guys, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life. My name is Melanie and this is another Smash Your Stash video and uh, this is the third time I am filming this so I don't remember what I've said and what I haven't said so hopefully this goes a little better than I'm, than I'm anticipating it will. So as I indicated this is a Smash Your Stash video which means we take an item from our stash and we try and use up as much of it as we can in the month. This month was free choice and I've chosen to use my Christmas supplies. And in order to do that, I thought I would do my December Daily as a 12 by 12 album. So if you've been following me in the last few videos, you've seen some of these items already, but I do have more to add. I am creating 12 by 12 base pages in order to hopefully get this album done fairly quickly after December is finished, but you never know. We'll see how it all plays out. This is a collaboration, which means that there are other people that are playing along or these videos can be accessed by clicking on the hashtag in the description or in the video um, title. So as I mentioned, I am trying to go through as much of my Christmas supplies as I can, given the circumstances. And I have come up with a number of pages. I've kind of laid this out where I think the two pages will support each other in my album, but this is not necessarily the order that they will end up. As I go through December, I will, you know, pick and choose the layouts that fit and the story that I want to tell. Some are a little bit more open to more photos than others, so that will also make, uh, be a factor in the determination, if you, if you want to call it that. I am going with more of what I'm calling a whimsical, non-traditional color scheme, and which means basically not just red and green, but we throw in some pink, blues, that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay, if I'm out of breath, it's because I'm feeling rushed because this video has to go out tomorrow and I really wasn't counting on filming this twice. But anyways, so these are the first two layouts that I completed. Um, you've seen this one before. This one is new. Um, it features a Pink Fresh Studio collection, which was also on this page. And I thought I would play off the hexagon shape on this one pattern paper to kind of do this decorative edge. I really like that. And I've pulled in some stars, um, some chipboard, more ephemera pieces from that collection. And I think this one is cute and does complement this page. So it looks, looks like it would work well together. I may even end up switching these around this way in the album. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just see. That's the nice thing about this is that there is flexibility. You would have already seen this layout in a previous video and I believe this one is a new one and I used some pocket cards to complete this one. This would be a really great layout to talk about gifts, either ones that I'm giving or that I've received. Um, this was an ephemera piece. I think this is Simple Stories. Could be wrong on that one. Could be. Um, I left a little bit of space to put a number, or I might be putting the number on the pages that are going to go in between. So I'm thinking I'm going to use some pocket pages in between to supplement. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I'm kind of winging it, you guys. Okay, the next two feature some 49 and market paper. So it's a little bit less whimsical, maybe a little bit more artistic, but it is still non-traditional in its color scheme. Um, this was actually a layout I found online, only it had been swapped around this way, which I could do this as well um, when I get to doing the page. We'll see. I had these poinsettia um, embellishments in my stash that I thought really played off the paper. And on this side, I had a tiny piece of this paper left over that I thought was too precious to not use. And so I created this particular layout and used more of those poinsettia embellishments. This was a Bella Boulevard collection that I used. You've already seen this one, but this is a new one where I basically took the scraps left over to come up with this layout. I really wanted to play off the Santa figure. I cut out this Santa from a 3x4 card. These were stickers from the sticker sheet from the collection, and then this was part of the cut aparts. You would have seen this layout before. This was from a class that I completed as was this one. I mentioned before some of these have room for more photos so definitely will lend itself um, to 
towards events that do have more photos. If I find that I don't have enough photos to fill a page like this, I can either opt to add more embellishments or maybe add a quote or something like that. You also would have seen these layouts in the base page one that I created from a crop I went to. This I pulled from my stash. I think I shared this one in that crop prep video as well. This is more of that pink fresh collection and I pulled some um, um, embellishments from my die cut sticker binders. I really like how this all came together. On this side I was playing off some of the papers which is why I thought they would go together. I had a doily that I thought would be cute to frame out a photo. This is about three and a quarter inch so if I cut out a three and a quarter inch circle that should cover there. These were embellishments probably from I think recollections or Hobby Lobby and I like how they look like they're um, part of this garland. I did pull a die from my stash for the bows and trim that out of some gold cardstock. This is a very typical design of mine where I just use bands of paper but I thought it would be really fun to have a band of embellishments on along the bottom. This could go many different ways. could either fill it all up with photos or just add one and a title. I had some 49 and Market uh, laser cut embellishments that are just gorgeous. And again, these are probably a little more elegant than necessarily um, whimsical, but I thought the colors went really well with the album and I don't mind mixing it up a little bit. Um, and I really like this sweater paper. This was another layout that I had made in the crop event. This was something that I had made previously um, in my, one of my base page videos. This was also from the crop and as was this one and so was this one and this one was from my base page stash. So I think I have enough pages here to complete my album. Um, I may decide as I'm going through that maybe some of these won't work for whatever it is, in which case I'll just create another layout if I so desire and the extra page will end up in my bin full of base pages. Did a pretty good job, I think, of using up some Christmas supplies. Obviously, I, you know, if you've seen my space, you know I have a surplus and so it hardly looks like I put a dent in it, but I feel really good about the progress that I've made. I would love to know below if you're playing along what you would choose to smash or what you have chosen this month to smash in your stash and be sure to check out the other collaborators again by checking uh, the hashtag in the description. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you do not check in with me again before the end of this month, I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas and all the best for 2024. Looking forward to hanging out with you in future videos, both the rest of this year and in the next one. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a good one.